brief uh, video introduction of why we need the MS-4 permit. Let's start with the basic fact that we're an urbanizing state in an urbanizing region. This shows some of our uh, clear remotely sensed land cover data with the red areas being the developed areas. And if we look at our 2015 data and we took all those red areas and smooshed them together in Connecticut, we get 954 square miles or all of Litchfield County and then some, so quite a large area. The thing about these developed areas is that they have a lot of impervious surfaces, so hard man-made surfaces like asphalt, concrete, and rooftops, which tend to shed water, as opposed to a natural area where you might get a rainstorm and the water is mostly absorbed into the ground. In these urban areas, the water comes down and it's basically shed into our stormwater system or directly into waterways, creating lots of problems. Let's look at the magnitude for a second. Here is a fairly large building in one of our cities in Stanford. This is uh, Stanford Town Center. And if we do the stormwater math, this one building is 374,000 square feet of impervious area. And then one inch of rain, it would generate almost a quarter of a million gallons of runoff. And then if you multiply that by annual rainfall, you get almost 11 million gallons of runoff just from this one building alone. And that would be enough to fill up Gillette Stadium into about 26 feet which should make all Giants fans happy, Jets fans too. So that's one large building, but it's one large building in one city in Connecticut, so you can get a feel for the magnitude of the problem. So the problem is really twofold. Uh, one is water pollution, the most serious problem perhaps. We have bacterial pollution, which uh, closes shellfish beds and uh, makes it unsafe to eat them. It also closes beaches, makes, it un un uh, un uh, makes us unable to use those beaches. We can all see some of the toxic, more toxic materials that are put on hard surfaces and get into the waterways with those impacts. And nutrient pollution, which uh, this is the Great Lakes, but I'm sure you've all seen uh, greenish ponds around your house. It also, of course, causes flooding and erosion. So I think we're all getting used to these types of scenes in our communities from the recent uh, years of rainstorm maybe even to the extent of seeing some of these spectacular storm sewer geysers that happen when undersized infrastructure meets larger than usual rainfall. And now, of course, just about every study that uh, we've seen indicates more rainfall and more intense rainfall in the northeastern United States. So our stormwater problem is just going to get worse and we need to do something about it. Which brings us to the MS4 or Municipal Separate Storm Sewer System Program. You can see the history on the left starting with the Clean Water Act in 1972 and now with a revised Connecticut MS4 that uh, covers more communities than ever and is going to kick in in 2017. So it covers 121 of the 169 towns in the state. That's why we made this website. We hope that it's useful to you and that it'll help you navigate the MS4. Thank you.